So click through is they actually accept the offer. They actually do teleport to your location. They do take the note card. They do go to the URL. Some of the things we can track, like the URL, taking of an object, the the navigation or teleporting to another in a virtual place. Because by giving a note card and so forth, we can't really tell whether or not they accept it. Like just some factor about the platform. And then tracking the metrics is you have to find a way to actually record all the information, and it's a lot of information, and then be able to display it somehow in a meaningful fashion, and then be able to do iterative improvement and uh, optimization cycles to try to get better better engagement to your ads. There are no standards for virtual world advertising. Don't exist. I believe I'm one of the first people to do it. And being as one of the first people to do it, uh, I've worked with the Web Analytics Association, which is one of the largest organizations globally for web analytics, and they are the people who determine how well banner ads do, how well websites are doing, how to optimize a website to get better engagement, better throughput, better traffic. So using similar techniques from website optimization, we're applying these techniques to virtual world optimization. <coughs> what you see in the bottom image is an example of the back. It is a corridor lined wall to wall with ads. They all say the same thing. These ads do not rotate. They're just blocks that were put there by somebody, and they're basically extorting the view. And Linden Lab understood that this was a problem and they moved aggressively in February of this year to ban such activity. So when they did, there became loopholes, and people are still exploiting these loopholes. And I know for a fact that Lincoln Labs worked very aggressively to close these loopholes and to make advertising a savory activity versus an unsavory activity. But there are plenty of people who are still unsavory and are using it as a method to extort. AdSoft Networks is our package that we run, and it actually has four member networks, which are the largest advertisers in Second Life. They all use the AdSoft package. We process 15 million impression minutes a month on average. An impression minute is a minute that somebody was around an ad, any ad, any somebody. But a unique impression is that person counts only once in our period, in which case we use a month. So even if a single specific avatar was around an ad for a thousand minutes, they would still only count for one unique impression. And as you can see here, with our 150,000 to 200,000 unique impressions per month, we're looking at about an average ad engagement time of eight to 10 minutes. Meaning that during the month, every one of these avatars, which represents about 20% of the active Second Life user base, will be impressed by our, one of our ads. Um, I mentioned before we had 1,600 plus terminals. Um, what's also very important is our click-through rates. If you're familiar with web banner advertising or AdSense type advertising on Google, you'll know that the average click-through rate of a considered a successful campaign would be about 0.5%. So one out of every 200 people that you impress would actually take some sort of action. We found that a well-designed ad in the virtual world will have double or quadruple that. So they can be very engaging. People actually do touch them and do take advantage of what they have to offer and at higher rates than what you find on the web. We know that because we have software in place to track it. Our software will allow you to manage the ad content, the ad rotation, and all of the metrics that the advertisements display all through the web. As I mentioned earlier, we have the Advertisers Guild, which is the four largest advertisers in Second Life joined together to try to fight the uglies. The uglies are those ones that I told you are anti-ads, and these people are very vocal, and if you did not actually confront them and face them as an organized fashion, they probably would have killed in world advertising. But we did be organized, and we have our own uh, ethic guidelines, and our code of conduct, and a way for people to issue complaints against us, and we uh, remediate. So a lot of these people who are in the ugly, are very passionate. They're being so ugly. Some of them do it just for leadership, but some of them do it because they're true believers. They believe in the utopia power of virtual world. And it's utopia, and it's only for them, and no commercial enterprise, and all of the badness in the real world should not actually cross over into the virtual world. But there's also a problem, is that virtual world businesses and virtual world organizations want to get their message out to the virtual world public, have no method with which to do so. 
There are some other methods provided by Linden Labs, such as classified ads and you know, having research and so forth. But this isn't something that can, not guarantee, but uh, certainly help get the sort of numbers that you need in order to drive the traffic levels that you're looking for. 